Drug dealing, drug use, and overdoses are some of the biggest problems on the streets of the Tenderloin and in a lot of other parts of San Francisco, too. A local advocacy group called Together SF is trying to tackle that issue head on. The group is funded by local billionaire Michael Moritz, and they met with city leaders today to talk about this. They told them they want them to crack down on dealers and users. So Kelsey Thord was there for that announcement. She's here tonight. What is their plan exactly? Well, Sarah, this group wants the city to take a harder approach. They want people to be held accountable, and this really is a big issue for people, including people who have struggled with addiction. I talked to one man who dealt with that for decades, and he's using his experiences to try and help others. Cedric Akbar has been to prison three times. He says he was addicted to heroin for over 20 years. And back when he was in the thick of it, his only options were treatment or prison. That was it and that was all. If you left treatment, it wasn't no second chance, you go straight to prison. Cedric told me for years he struggled with treatment. It wasn't until he found people he felt comfortable around that things started to click. That was like me, that thought like I thought, felt like I felt, and dealt with the things that we had coming through as being African Americans in America. That it helped me to be able to have that proper support I needed in order to stay sober. That support came from the organization Positive Directions Equals Change. Now Cedric works for them, helping others who are dealing with the same struggles he did. But Cedric says times are different. He believes the city's drug policies are hurting addicts more than helping them. Nobody is being held accountable for anything. You can do what you want, however you want to do it. And what it does is keep people down, keep poor down, keep the people that's on drugs, keep them dependent on a system. That's why Cedric partnered with the advocacy group Together SF. He and other activists are pushing the city to crack down on open air drug use and dealing. Letting people know that it's not okay to use drugs on the street. It's not okay to run in people's stores and take things. It's not okay to defecate on the streets and be disrespectful to other people. It's just, that's not okay and I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Cedric and others say they are happy. DA Brooke Jenkins is making arresting drug dealers a top priority. But they believe the city can do a lot more to provide treatment for users. The group is pushing the mayor and board of supervisors to allocate more money for treatment services as well as police staffing. Cedric told me he knows this is a complicated issue, but he's hopeful a better solution is out there. I always got to have, I couldn't do this if I didn't have hope. I got faith and hope. Okay, so Kelsey, a lot of people have been trying to work on this issue for a long time. So as far as this group goes, what is the next step for them? Well, you're right. I mean, Cedric was just one of dozens of people who were involved in this movement. And what they are trying to do is really change the way that the city handles its drug problems. The advocacy group Together SF says it will be hosting another meeting next month, and there they will be discussing more permanent solutions to improving treatment services in the city. Yeah, a lot of parts to this issue, a lot to discuss. Kelsey, thank you so much.